Well, hi, everyone. Welcome to the New England Racing Show, Channel 23 in Manchester, New Hampshire. Also on YouTube and like us on Facebook. You'll get it automatically on your Facebook page. Well, uh, we have coming up, we have a big weekend coming up here. Friday night at Lee Speedway will be the ISMA uh, Super Modified Association. It's the big block supers versus the small blocks that race at Lee every week. And they're going to be at Lee Friday night, August 8th, uh, doing a 75 lap feature. And they're going to be at Waterford Saturday night, August 9th. And they're going to be doing 50 laps down there. So we have a little bit of in-car camera we're going to show you and uh, get you ready for the ISMA Super Modifieds. So the first in-car camera will be uh, Dan Duville up at Legion Speedway this past uh, Sunday, I believe it was, and his in-car camera, which was pretty exciting. So let's go to that. This is Legion Speedway up in Wentworth, New Hampshire, and we hope to get up there pretty soon. Watch the uh, Stone Sprint Cars of New England. Of all the in-car cameras, just watching these scone drivers is the best. Dan's one of the top runners in scone. Up here at Legion, they seem to be on the throttle a lot more than at Bear Ridge. I don't know if the track's a little bigger. These guys run small block Chevys, I believe they're 360 cubic inch, and uh, they tell me they put out around 600 horsepower. It looks like Dan's going to finish second in this race. Feature race starting 14th. They always start the best cars like 14th or so. by the 17. The 
Chris Donnelly. good how they can ride side by side inches away and not touch each other although sometimes they do As you can see, sometimes they do. Fortunately, Dan looks okay. Uh, wings are bent up. Maybe the front axle. But it's not like hitting the wall at uh, some of these asphalt tracks. That's pretty bad news. Here's a slow-mo. finished right side up anyway and was able to get out uh, next video we're going to show you is Jeff Locke super modified driver and drives other things he was driving a uh, TQ three-quarter midget at Atlantic City indoors so uh, we're going to go to that which was pretty exciting and, and different too this is during the winter might have been New Year's Eve, I'm not sure, when uh, Atlantic City races, does their race. You think of a Nema midget, this is a little bit smaller. You can barely fit in there. But a lot of the top drivers go there. For these uh, mid-winter indoor races. Obviously, the track's a lot smaller racing than doors. You don't want to hit those tires, I wouldn't think. Yellow. Jeff drives the number 37 Super Modified, which will probably be at Lee Friday night. Uh, one of the nicest Supers I've ever seen. Like I was saying one other time when we used his video, uh, if you go and look at that car in the pits, it's like looking at an Indy car. Another yellow, somebody couldn't turn. This is like a mini Bowman Gray without the demo, the intentional demos. Seems every week you look at a, you see a uh, video of couple of modifieds destroying each other in the infield of Bowman Gray. I guess they must have pretty deep pockets. The fans love it.
leader gets turned around on the start. This looks like a lot of fun. Expensive though. Somebody was sleeping on that restart. Oh, they're just lining up, that's what it is. See the power of these things now. just climbed the uh, guard rail. Seems to be a lot of action with this race. Unfortunately, the cars don't weigh that much, so you get about five guys out there and they can lift one off the other. You don't need a tow truck. And now that I see this video, I'm going to have to go down and see the races in person next year. Atlantic City, New Jersey.
we were at Oswego uh, uh, last year. We did a uh, show, highlighted some of these three quarter midgets. They were really nice cars. <laughs> Stuff happens just so fast out there. I don't know. They have good reaction times to be able to get around that. Uh, my hat's off to Jeff for being such a good driver there. And now we're going to show uh, Jeff at Sandusky Speedway in his Isma Super. Uh, get you ready for the races this weekend. So let's go to that. <laughs> getting a push out of the pits. Sandusky Speedway in Ohio. Never been there. I always want to go there and check it out. These are uh, 468 cubic inch big blocks, putting out about eight, 900 horsepower. It's the ultimate short track car. And they're gonna be at Lee Speedway this coming Friday, August 8th. We'll be there with our small block, which will look like a uh, toy compared to these things. We wouldn't mind stepping up to the uh, big block supers, but we have some friends that do, and it's, it's a very expensive proposition. Uh, engines go anywhere. If you, you, know, you build one yourself, you have one built up to $50,000, $60,000. going real slow on the outside there. This looks like a nice track. There's no uh, concrete walls there in the corner. I don't know exactly how many cars will show up at Lee. Probably just guessing uh, 20, 22 cars. It leaves a little difficult because it's a Friday night and there's a lot of traffic. It's hard for people to get up there, but I, I would think to race both races, there'll be a lot of cars there. What's nice about this race at Lee is it's 75 laps. It's not one of those marathons. almost feel the rush from this video.
Thanks for the ride, Jeff. That was pretty awesome. Going back to the pits now. Talk about an adrenaline rush. That's probably the ultimate right there. Uh, I can see why Jeff does this, <laughs> whether you can afford it or not. <laughs> a lot of people spend a lot more money on racing than they should, and uh, that's understandable once you get into it. I guess we're guilty of that too. Doc, Doc Hathaway, who is really into super modifieds, uh, really knows his stuff. There he is right there with a the clipboard. He's worked on uh, Russ Wood's car. We've watched him in action. So one time Doc uh, wanted to was trying to figure out the aerodynamics of the wing, so he took the wing, uh, a super modified wing, put it on the top of his pickup truck, and uh, did some calculations while he was driving the truck. So he's pretty, pretty good guy and uh, really knows what to do. Anyway, Lee Speedway is going to have the Isma Supers, and uh, they're going to have all the other divisions, the Ironman. Small block supers, hobby stocks. Uh, Isma is going to go 75 laps, and then they're going to have late model sportsmen. So, like I said, the 75 lap race with Isma is really good. None of these uh, riding around for 75 laps and then doing a the pit stop, and everybody's sitting there going to the concession stand because the racing is so boring. Uh, you don't. It's not going to be that way with Isma. So that's going to be at least Speedway. Uh, Bentley Warren's going to be there doing his benefit bike run for Petty's Victory Junction Gang Camp, and he'll av arrive at the track around eight o'clock with a bunch of uh, mostly Harley Davidsons, and uh, that's pretty cool to see them come in. Then Saturday night, August 9th, Isma is going to be at Waterford Speed Bowl, and that's going to be a really a unbelievable show. They're going to have uh, SK Modifieds feature events is going to start at 6:35, qualifying at 5. That's at Waterford, uh, Connecticut. The SK Mods will start off the show. Then Nema Midgets doing 25 laps. The SKs are doing 35. Then Nema Light is going to do 25 laps, and they always put on a good show. They had 28 of them at uh, Seekonk a couple of weeks ago, and they put on the best show of the night, in my opinion. Then will be the Isma Super Mods doing 50 laps of all-out racing. Like I said, no pit stops or anything. The SK Lights will be next doing 25 laps. And then last but uh, last of all, is the Valente Modified Racing Series. It's scheduled here 100 laps, probably 75 laps of uh, hot laps, and then 25 laps of racing. Uh, I'm just being facetious here. <laughs> Fortunately, they're the last, the last race of the night, so we can leave and not have to sit through that. And now, anyway, Isma Points... Uh, first in points is Rob Summers, second John McKennedy, third Ben Seitz, fourth Lou Ciccone, last year's champion, fifth Jeff Locke, who we rode around with here in the beautiful 37 car, sixth is Mark Summit, a really good runner from uh, Canada, seventh Dave Schulich Jr., Eighth, Eddie Whitcomb Jr., a former small block racer. His father was a uh, really good super modified driver back in the old days. Ninth is a young lady, Allison Cummins. Tenth, Mike Litke. 
Chris Purley's 11th because he's running a limited schedule. Otherwise, he'd probably be right up top. Uh, Mo Lilji, Dan Bowes, another small block racer moving up. Craig Ravels, Eric Lewis, Ryan Conium, whose father was Warren, I believe. Otto Sitterly, a uh, wingless super driver from uh, Oswego. Justin Belfiore. Mike Keeler and Tim Ice. There's your top 20. And Chris Purley leads the ISMA all-time win list with 69 wins. So uh, that's it. We hope to see you at Lee and at Waterford. And we'll be here next week with uh, a lot of the highlights. So thanks for joining us.